You'd be good when we're gone, okay? Hey everybody, welcome back. We left the Bay Area this morning around 6.30 and made our way to Yosemite. It's right now about 11 o'clock and we made our way up um, the Glacier Point Road. We're gonna do a little hike and stretch our legs getting out to Taft Point and Sentinel Dome. It's the fall, but it's beautiful weather. It's perfect and we're excited to go check out the views. We're heading up to Sentinel Dome. It's a little crowded, but it's absolutely beautiful up here. Weather couldn't be better. It's probably like 65 degrees. And I guess I never introduced you to Stephanie, my girlfriend. So figured we'd make that introduction so it's not awkward and I'm filming some stranger. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> This is for sure Taft Point. So we made it out here. Definitely not where we were previously. It's a little bit more crowded, but absolutely epic. There's some massive drop offs up here. You can really um, test your fear of heights and have the best view of El Capitan in the valley. Well, we made it back. Overall, the hike was amazing. We're really glad we did the loop. Both views from Sentinel Dome and Taft Dome were amazing and very unique. So definitely worth doing both. We did um, Sentinel Dome first and then to Taft, which we definitely recommend since you kind of have a more gradual uphill and steeper downhill. And overall, a little crowded, but with views like that, you can see why and you can't blame people. So what do you think, Steph? It was great. Awesome views. About, I think, on all trails it said 5.1 miles total i think it's like 1200 vert so not bad but i will say coming from the bay area this morning at sea level and then hiking seven to eight thousand feet i was a little out of breath but overall amazing great views good warm-up hike for tomorrow yes wherever we good way up. to climatize all right with that we're gonna go set up camp okay. see you there it's hot wide open campground I've ever been in. I've never been so close to people, but I'm remaining positive and accepting it.
dinner is served. We have some burritos that we still need to roll up and some beer. Well, we had a delicious dinner. We had that Mexican, some burritos, and it's cooling down fast. This fall camping, the light leaves fast, and we're gonna be hanging out around the fire the rest of the night. Steph decided to try to make the fire when I was going and washing the dishes, um, or set it up, and that was a disaster, but we worked through it, and here we are. <laughs> I did a bad job. Hey everybody, we made it to the Porcupine Creek Trailhead. It's about an hour drive from our campsite in the valley. Overall, it's a nice sunny day, but definitely colder. There's a cold front coming in. We might get some weather tonight, possibly some snow. So we're gonna be bundled up, but we're gonna be heading to North Dome today, which is a hike we both haven't done. And it's right across from Half Dome. Should be good views of the valley as well as Half Dome. So we're excited and we're gonna get going. We'll um, see you on the trail. So we made it out here to the start of North Dome. The trail has been beautiful the whole way. Been a little bit breezy as I'm sure you can hear and a little bit chilly. Um, but overall the views of Half Dome from this side of Glacier Point and also of Clouds Rest are just amazing. And I think my favorite part of the trail is we've seen almost no people here. Yeah, it's been really nice. I think a little less than five miles out here. Um, not really technical at all. Pretty easy trail. And like you said, no one's out here. So it's been really lovely. Yeah, we have it all to ourselves. And it looks like 
we're going to continue down and get a pretty cool sheer drop off in the end. down to the final North Dome where we checked in earlier was a little bit of a kind of false top and from there we dropped down with um, Glacier Point right in the distance we had Clouds Rest and Half Dome on the left and all of Yosemite Valley on the right I've done a lot of hiking around Yosemite but I think this is one of my favorite views I've ever had the lighting is gorgeous so I've been snapping photos like crazy and Overall, it's a little chilly, but the views are so good, it's keeping us warm and just happy to be here. How are the views, Steph? Amazing. Man, sun feels good. The dome is massive. <laughs> Hey guys, well, we're heading back. We didn't get a lot of filming or footage out there or talking because it was so windy, but the views were just spectacular. We were just taking them in. We enjoyed some lunch out there, and now we realize it's a little later in the day than we expected, and we know they're closing the main road um, due to a storm coming in, so we're gonna hustle back to the car right now, and we'll see you later on. Well, we're about done with the hike. We probably have less than half a mile back to the car. Um, kind of a struggle getting up that big dome. It was like straight up, probably a thousand feet, right? I think so. Yeah. Somewhere around there. Um, and I died, but I'm okay now. <laughs> She's been reborn. Yeah, but we're almost back. Fantastic hike, best views of Yosemite that we've seen. Highly recommend. Yeah, I don't think there's any place you can see half dome cloud dress and down the valley just perfect hey guys we actually just packed up our campsite because the storm that was non-existent on the weather three days ago went to half an inch of rain and now is rain and then up to like four inches of snow and with the fact that it keeps growing and growing and we have a little two-wheel drive car we decided that we're gonna make the drive home we're feeling good. We're a little sad that we won't get to spend another night. We won't get to have a big fire and everything, but we think with the small car and dealing with the logistics of tomorrow and travel nightmare, it's a smart move. And mm. kind of yeah. sad, but yeah, smart move. I have a little sedan, so it's, it, 
it wouldn't make it through a ton of snow. We don't know how it'll look in the morning, so. We're, We're only like four hours away from the Bay Area. It's about 5 p.m. now, so we won't get home too late, so it'll be all right. And in other good news, you can see North Dome right above us where we were on our hike today. Mm -hmm. So we all kind of come full circle here and we're gonna make the drive home and we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks for tuning in and a little disappointed, but overall, that's how it goes in the mountains. Any final thoughts? Um, thank you for watching. Yeah, subscribe too. <laughs>